Hello there, this is Mike Rogers once again on a thankful Thursday wanting to uh, wish you all a, a blessed day and also maybe a word of encouragement to you um, today uh, regarding our faith and actually our life and how that plays out in what we could call active faith. That active faith is, is basically talked about in many places of the Bible but certainly we see it in the book of James. Um, I'm recently studying the book of uh, Galatians, letter that Paul wrote. Um, and it, they're, they're, they actually, those two books complement each other. Interesting enough, I did a little research on it um, just to see the dates that those books were written. And they're basically pretty close in the timing of them um, as well as um, that they were in from the New Testament standpoint they were the the, the earlier books written as it, as it looks like at least best we can tell is that Galatians and James were uh, a couple of the very first books written um, even though they're not in the New Testament in that chronological order um, that that is uh, that that's what the scholars apparently uh, have been able to um, dig up that the the timing of them uh, one was written uh, around they were, may have both have been written around 49 to 50 AD um, which is interesting to me because right now Pastor Bill and Pastor Jeff are teaching in the book of Mark and that is considered to be the first gospel uh, that we have written or the earliest gospel that was written it was it was written before the other gospels um, and so, and it would have been just after Galatians and and um, James was written. So, um, not that that has a whole lot to do with anything today in active faith, but it was interesting to me that back then that they were talking so much about faith. Um, in James' case, uh, he's talking about that you know we can we can we can demonstrate our faith by our works, not that we are saved by our works. Um, but that we ha can demonstrate our faith by our works. And um, we certainly understand that. We can understand that, although some uh, doctrines out there, uh, false doctrines, I would say, is that you have to work your way to heaven, so to speak, and that you are saved by your works. And, and James was dealing with that early on, very early on in the early church, as we know that James was one of the earliest uh, church leaders. Um, and, and so when we see what Paul writes in Galatians, he was dealing with a little bit of a, uh, a different side of that, and that is where um, the, uh, the, the Judaizers, we'll call them, as the Bible calls it, uh, the, the, the Judaizers were actually um, the ones that were, they were Christian, they were working in the churches with the, uh, with the Gentiles who had become Christian, and they wanted the um, they wanted the Gentiles to follow the Mosaic law, and they they felt that uh, in order for them to be a true Christian, they first had to be able to follow the Mosaic law as well. And so Paul speaks against that quite a bit, and he wants to make sure that we understand that we are saved by God's grace um, through our faith and not by works. And so he he says that in. Um, Galatians chapter 2 verse 16 Paul writes know that a man is not justified by observing the law but by faith in Jesus Christ so we too have put our faith in Christ Jesus that we may be justified by faith in Christ and not by observing the law because by observing the law no one will be justified and so our justification comes by what Jesus Christ did on the cross and that was done by the by the grace of God and so we could be I think we could be grateful for that because if we could earn our way into heaven some may have uh, a lot more points than others so to speak and that's not uh, that, that's that that's not good uh, but we come all on the same plane and that our sins were forgiven by what Jesus did for us and that in our faith in that and what he's done what God did for us and that he rose him from the grave as he said he would do that faith is what uh, gives us the, the salvation and that justifies us, that sets us apart. So I want to encourage you in that and back to the, the, the term active faith. Um, I, I think it was this last Sunday that uh, Pastor Bill was 
sharing, uh, he, he made a comment, and I may not get this exactly right, but the comment goes something like that you know that you, uh, by, that you can show your faith through your life. And that is, I, I, I see that so true in even scripture, as, as I said, in Galatians and in James, it talks about that, that we can show our faith through our life. And, and I see that with uh, many of you that I have met, and I see it uh, so often around refuge and other uh, church bodies, uh, Christian believers, that um, whether they recognize it or not, that some of the things that they do are a great demonstration of their faith. Um, I have shared that to this last Sunday with those who were having communion, and I wanted to um, just encourage them by even coming for communion. That's a demonstration of our faith because that's what we've been told to do, uh, um, and that's what Jesus had uh, had done. He demonstrated that for us, and then we come to the table at communion, and we give thanks to the Lord for what he has done for us. We're demonstrating faith that uh, he went to the cross, he died for our sins. Our sins have been forgiven. He rose from the grave and he ascended into heaven. And then he went there to prepare a place for us. So um, that's an encouragement to me. I hope it's an encouragement to you. I know there's many ways that you might be able to think of that you have been acting out your faith. And that's great to have that um, ability to be able to see that. But I bet you if you sat down for a little bit, you might even find some things that you've been doing, maybe even for years, that are faith demonstration. It's showing your faith through your life. And I want to encourage you to continue to do those things and, um, and to look for ways that you might be able to um, even enhance that by demonstrating your faith. Again, we're not saved by those works, by those actions that we take, but it's a demonstration of our faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and what he's done for us and the love that he's given us. We get to display that. So I hope you have a blessed, thankful Thursday. And this is Mike Rogers on Refuge Daily, and I'm signing out. Have a great, great day.